my genome is on the internet. Uh, I have it on my web page. I have my uh, sh short bio, my long bio, my curriculum vita, photographs of me for you know, posters yeah. and stuff, a uh, scan of my brain and my genome. So I'm, I'm kind of out there. But I did it not because I'm an exhibitionist, but just because I know there's just nothing interesting in there. It really is. It's a bunch of A's and T's and C's and G's, and we don't know how to read it. And uh, the Around the time that, that uh, George Church and, and uh, his collaborator set up the Personal Genome Project, the first 10 of us had discussions of, you know, what were the risks, what are we afraid of? Someone said, well, gee, what happens if, uh, you know, I have the, the dishonesty gene and, you know, my daughter's boyfriends, you know, look it up and they find that her father has is dishonest. And the thing is that uh, in just about anything of any human interest, you get much more information from direct uh, indicators of the phenotype than you do from the genotype. Uh, at, not only because the, uh, we don't know how to read the, the, uh, the, the genomic data yet, uh, just the causal chain is so uh, intricately complex that it's very hard to work backwards. Uh, but also, we even know, uh, you know, I'm a great believer in, in the old-fashioned study of behavioral genetics, the study of twins and adoptees as a source of information about uh, effects of genes. We know that genes matter a lot in aggregate. There's a, if you had an identical twin who was separated from you at birth, you'd be much more similar to him than to anyone in this room. On the other hand, the two of you would not be indistinguishable. There is, uh, you know, he might be gay while you were straight or vice versa. Uh, you, your intelligence would be correlated, but not perfectly. That sets an upper bound as to how much we'll ever be able to read from the genes. Even if we could decode it them entirely, we'd have a lot of statistical information, but not a whole lot of individual personal information. And that's why I felt completely comfortable going public. So even, like, if, even if terrorists got hold of it, what could they possibly what could they, do? Yeah, what, what could they do? Or what could they do that they wouldn't? If, if someone wanted to snoop around and embarrass me, uh, they would get a lot more by hacking into my email than they could by hacking into my genome.